great evidence. So whenever we got stopped, we wouldn't have any. So we got we got stopped. I was over and said, "Well, tell me about that beer that y'all had. Didn't have any." Uh, well, I'm going to file on all three of it for minor possession. I'm just going to or I can, if you tell the truth. I'll just file on Mike Stroop and the driver. Only. So we started saying, yeah, we had some. Well, he knew we had some because he had just come up the road and, and that part of the highway was dry. And now there's broken glass and a lot of wet beer all over the road. So he knew it had just happened. So he told us we had to go back up the hill and clean off all that glass. All we had was a whisper. And we spent two and a half hours sweeping that glass off the road over in the ditch. In the meantime, I saw an 18-wheeler coming as a cattle truck. So I started running up the hill to flag down this 18-wheeler because I didn't like all the cattle trucks always have brooms. So he stopped. I jumped up there and I asked him about the car his broom. And he says, well, yeah, what you need it for? And I told him, he just put it in gear, started laughing, and took off. <laughs> So anyway, we never made it to Cherry Springs. Mike Stoffel got the ticket, and we spent about three hours sweeping off the house. And we lost a lot of beer. That wasn't the only time you lost a lot of beer. What about the coors that you hid in a ditch? In the cold. You were like uh, bootleggies from Colorado or something? No, from Alpine. Oh, okay. No, no. It, Coors wasn't in Kerrville at that time, and you could get high dollars for Coors. So we, we Mike Stroop and I, we uh, bought about 28 cases of Coors in Fort Stockton to bring back to Kerrville. We weren't 21 yet, but we were going, so we hit it under a culvert, going toward Mike's house the night we got into town, because we couldn't show up at our houses with 28 cases of beer. You were resellers. Yeah, we were pretty sick. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, we, I think we paid like $4 for a case of it. Well, I know we could get at least 10 because anybody in Kerrville would pay high dollar for Coors. So we put it under that coffer. The next morning, we went back to get it. And uh, these people called the Texas Highway Department road crew for their mowers and stuff were all in that area. And they had found all our beer. And we were about to sell it. We did. Bill Durbin, Mike Mills. <laughs> well, I want to say that. Lord, I thought you did. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, I just want to say, yeah, you can't do that long, too. Yeah, that's right. They took a lot of credit for his upbringing and how well it turned out. My brother died. They, they, they got that in early. They got that in early, didn't they? My mother and daddy made this promise. They, back when T.O. was coming through, they had no beer in the house. Now we're not going to have any beer in the house. Well, it didn't work. <laughs> you can tell. He had all the beer he wanted because he got it other places because there's no beer in the house. But with me, when I came through, Daddy had a few beers. So, well, maybe we have a few beer in the house. You know, I can have some. That's all. I'll just be satisfied.